to the Killing Floor Games quarterfinals. Game one tonight is the MGC team who qualified for uh, this match with a time of 16 minutes 57 on Steamland. I'm Grail and I'm joined by Egg and Hyper Munchies. Hello. Hello. I just got I just got done checking out the replays for round one for this set of the match and MGC's contribution was pretty solid. Great time and uh, got all the way through and took out the paddy. The next best team is Headhunters, who I believe will later on tonight. Is that right, Grant? I believe so. Yeah, who and had, uh, sharp specialists and also. Yeah. Very good time. Well, uh, yes, yeah, so there's some pretty pretty heavy competition out there, so it should be a good match tonight. Indeed. So, what do you guys reckon of their uh, their perks that they've chosen? Two sharps, a support, and a demo. Yeah, this looks a lot like their last um, loadout they chose. Yeah, it's, it's exactly the same. Yeah. Um, they've replaced uh, Cookie, who I believe is ill tonight. So we send out our thoughts to Cookie. Stop eating all the ice cream. And um, Star Wars has joined the team. Yeah, I think they've spent a lot of time practicing with this loadout. Uh, and it's a pretty good one. Two sharps certainly cover off with scrakes, which is what you really want to take care of. One demo, obviously, for this, the uh, flash bounce. Uh, and it looks like they're going for close quarters as a support here. Yeah, if they're going to camp up here, support will be important, because they'll funnel through that passage pretty heavily. The sharps, you're absolutely right. Critical that they can take those scrakes out. And the sharps with the crossbows can stun the scrakes. So it's a bit hard to take them out otherwise. Not impossible, just a bit more dangerous. Something else that he was spot is it also allows um, Oz to shoot down into the middle uh, through the hole, and that way he can also clear out crawlers or anything that spawns down there. Well, I certainly can't fault this camp spot. Uh, I've certainly used it plenty of times in non tournament, it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, it's a, um, a camp spot which gets used a lot in pub games as well. I'm pretty sure I've camped here with both of you guys before, in fact. <laughs> Classic aggressive move from Sesk. He's a very, very aggressive uh, player, but it's good. You need to have aggressive players in uh, this tournament. It's all about the time, so yeah, definitely right. They will not die wondering if they die at all. <laughs> well, I guess if they die, they might just keep wondering until the end of the night's rounds. <laughs> Pumpy Pete with his uh, key binds. He's the master of the, the binds. I just like those customizations. So far in this tournament, I don't believe we've seen any uh, complete trader skips. Do you guys reckon we'll see any tonight? Um, with MGC with their current loadout, probably not from them. But uh, I reckon we can wait to see the next team and see if they choose different perks. Might see something from them. It is Carrying a little does make it difficult. You would. You could manage it with sharpshooters because they have a lot of ammo for their weapons. And if they could manage to carry spare um, grenade launcher for the Can't demo, I guess. But the support will go through his ammo pretty quickly. Yeah, the Sharps would want to do some switching to their 9mm for some of the smaller Zeds if they really want to save ammo like that. Yep. It's pretty fiddly to do that when the heat is on, so not sure we're seeing that tonight. Yeah, I reckon you're right. I don't know what we're going to do. The puppy's gone the long way. Is we'll probably just try and see some uh, half trader times. Nice quick trader there. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, no messing about. So they're all done within 10 seconds. In and out. Uh, they probably fill all. No report. Army yet? I was just see. thinking that. Don't need armor at the moment. Trust their instincts. Yeah, tough guys. Let's see what they got. Of course, they better be gotten a point because here Jeez, comes the first flesh down. If you wax them, they're going to feel it. Clean kill. That looked pretty trouble free to me. This this bound killer of the night. Reloading. Oz is a very clinical demo. Can you see I'm I guess that's why he always wears the white coat. Hold on a sec, I'm reloading. It's a small thing, but it is important for people to have different skins. Makes it I agree. just a tiny bit easier to see who's who. Uh, especially if it's, there's a bit of panic going down or someone needs a, a quick heal or someone's in trouble, absolutely be able to spot a skin and identify it with that player immediately. Yeah, it's a good tactical move by these guys. Yep, and they all team their own team speak as well, so they have very good communication and I can guarantee you from playing with them previously, as you guys have as well, but for all the people out there, these guys will be having a constant stream of chatter and they'll know exactly what's going on. One of the things that Quirku could do over here at the door, see how he's ducking around the side? He's trying to get some spawns happening. One of the things he can do as well is just close the door temporarily and then reopen it instead of having to move around the corner. Oh, a nice pickup there. Didn't know you could do that. Because there's a spawn directly outside the door, just near the ramp, and you can uh, right. get the spawns happening there a lot faster to help go through the wave quicker. Pretty good time so far, almost finished the second wave, wave 7, just over 6 minutes. Oh, and a nice trader too. Close trader, this should be a quick one. Well, let me go on the armour now. Pete's got some armour, Sesk's got some armour. And Oz has got some armor. Quirku hasn't. That was a fast trader. Saved him at 45 already. He's going well. Hold on a tick, I'm reloading. You can see Quirku's not getting many kills over there. New man, give me a sec. He's only got 36 kills so far. Oh no, he's got 88. It's Pumpy that's only got 36. My apologies. Oh jeez. Yeah, that wasn't looking really, that wasn't looking really yeah. safe for Quirky. You know what I would be tempted to do here if I was, um, Pete? I'd be tempted to get a Flare Revolver off Perk. Can't you see I'm reloading? Because if Oz is lighting, hitting things down the bottom with his, um, with his launcher, Pete could burn things like Sirens, etc. and let them burn out. Oh, because they have quite a long walk to get all the way around. Yep. Yeah, certainly Quirky's raining down most of the terror from above. Yeah. It's, it's just something... tricky for him. He's got to look in two or three directions at once, though. That's right. Getting headshots from up high can be a bit awkward. He's got yeah, to do it pretty be well. Game to do that, but uh, Quirky's a better sharp than I am. Quirky's a good sharp, yep. Scrake's arm um, hurting someone. Pete's arm is almost all gone. Lucky he bought it. I 
really is steady carnage where they've funneled them off at the front. Yeah, it's a good steady stream up there in the demo and support just shoot through it, don't they? They're going at a ripping speed. Oz tried to kill up the top and he pulled it off. Oh, he's pulled it off. Nicely done. Certainly make life a lot easier for uh, we get that Pete and Sass. Definitely. It's risky. Croaky has jumped over the edge and he's uh, having a bit of a dance with the clock. Risky if he uh, failed to pull that off. Um, the other guys would have had a raging flesh pound in their face. Yeah, it was a bit double or nothing, but it seems Can't to have been a good gamble. It was. Again, they won't die wondering. Stand still or I'll stick it where the sun doesn't bloody shine. They're all out within nine seconds. It's a nice tactical play to buy them time to get to the trader too. Yep. A lot of people will say like taking the time to get to the trader, kiting a clot, etc. Like may as well just killed and got there. One of the advantages to, to kiting the clot will give them a safer run back. For example, they might be able to drop out now and they'll save a bit of time, especially if you've got a long trader. So it's, they've done pretty well here. 9 minutes 57 seconds at the start Doctors of wave 9. <laughs> yeah, it's looking like a pretty solid time. Jeez, to They've got some good money in the bank too at the moment, so they're doing well. So they should have plenty of, uh, plenty of dosh for lots of pipes when it comes to the pat. Oh yeah, just on what you said earlier, Grant. I think the, um, the return run to the camp spot can't be underestimated. Certainly plenty of pub games I've played in, teams have been wiped out because we've been trying to get back to a camp, didn't make it, bad spawn, game over. Exactly, yeah. Just gives that little bit of leeway, it makes it a safer run back. Yeah, well, and I think in a second... I'm pretty sure this guy's had 29 seconds left when they actually skipped a trade away. So um, yep. if they had killed the boss before they went there, they would have just run out of time or maybe been outside the camp. Exactly. You can see yeah, they've saved two right minutes, there. two minutes and eleven already. That's that's a good time save, and that's the advantage as well of, of just going in, getting all your gear in the first wave, and all you have to do is hit auto fill, bang, auto fill, bang. It makes traders so much quicker. Cover me, I'm reloading. I'm trying to heal you. What well, time do we reckon these guys will finish with? 75 Zs left this wave. Just over 11 minutes, almost 11 and a half minutes. What are you looking at? It's looking like a fast one, that's for sure. Maybe... I don't know, might even get stuck 16 minutes. What do you reckon, Hyper? Uh, I haven't seen too much of the previous games, but um, I'd say, yeah, about like 18 minutes maybe. Yep. Yeah, so... Well, Nice kill there on that flesh pound again. So they'll finish this wave off probably about 12 minutes 20, depending on the trader. So you're looking at maybe close to 13 when they start wave 10. They finish the wave in about three minutes. So you're looking at 16, yeah, they could be doing 18 minutes. I reckon 18 minutes is a good, good option. <laughs> Assuming they don't have any uh, unfortunate demises. Well, that's always the way, but it's all been looking pretty solid so far. Yeah, and this a lot is of a nice into this. Don't Yeah, I'm nice close to trader as well. Notice how they, they're all stopping as soon as they get their feet in the trader door, basically. Just an extra couple seconds to save. They certainly haven't had to do any uh, fancy buying weapons for other perks or whatever. Unlike other tournaments, where it's been needed from time to time. Yeah, no, it's... They're, um, they're doing well. And they aren't skipping traders, so that's... That's, uh, they're not needing to carry spares. But they're skipping plenty of time. 2 minutes 46 they've saved. Double flush pound. Watch it. 
Nicely done. Nice. Wow, I just missed pretty cleanly. Quirk is holding up the other side nicely. Yeah, you can tell it's going well at the uh, opposite end, that there's been hardly any drama there at all. I'd say the only drama's been at the, um, where the other guys are when Pete's been hit twice by a scrake. I think that's the only drama they've had so far. Yeah. Close, but even that seems to be taken care of quite easily. Yeah, they weren't in any real danger. Another scrape coming up from the front. Nice finish there by Sesk to speed it up. Sesk's got to be a little bit careful. He's pushing forward a bit too far. And if he pushes forward too far, he might slow the spawns down. Okay, that could possibly. Nice fireball cooked him a bit. Turned out quite a rapid recovery, though. Indeed, that's one of the advantages of this spot as well. The demo or the support can just wipe everything out and give you a bit of time. Ah, uh, Sigmund's ran the other way. They've been lucky so far, all the flesh counts have come up that one direction. Ah, oh, that's Fesc true. Uh, Quirker hasn't had to deal with the flesh pound. Because this is where it could get nasty if they had a flesh pound come from each direction at the same time. I think that'd test anything <laughs> pretty well. Here comes the second one. And it's gone. Almost finished this wave in a fantastic time. That's great, going to hit that pipe. Yep. And he's angry. They're going to leave. Let's, oh, yep. Seth had to come in there, otherwise, Pete was in trouble. Pete's still in trouble. Oh, he got out of that last fireball. Yeah, Pete got really low there. <laughs> yeah. He was lucky that second uh, husk fireball just missed him, otherwise he was gone. Oz is placing ah. some pipes. They're going to take him up here. Suddenly Pete got away with it. Yep. Right, right his luck. Grab it while you can, lads. Loads of money. Stand still, do I look like I'm nicking stuff? Buy something pretty for yourself. Alright. Oz has placed some pipes beforehand. Don't fidget, I'm trying to help! I wonder if they'll skip straight away or if they'll get him to place a few more pipes. Yep, skip straight away. Yeah, they're going for it. You murdered my children! And dropping pipes over the edge. <laughs> nice. Wow, that Patty's gonna know it's been in a fight. Still in the pot. That was a how's your father for him. Can't you see I'm reloading? Alright, here he comes again. Reloading. Pete's going to die. Yeah, I think he's drawing him in for the pipe there. 
Set in a gutsy move. Trying to block him. Just get him to stop temporarily. I know he'll force his way through after that, but if they can stop him at least once. And also draws his aggro against Pete rather than Oz. Still, Only Pete's lost any armor too, so or any significant yeah, so armor, so they're do doing again. pretty well. Yep, here he comes for like, again. He's got one heal left after this. And they've made him run again. Wow, without even taking a hit. There he goes, heals away. Final encounter. Reloading. Well, let's better get out of the way, there's a pipe right near him. There. I'll just sit Reloading. there. Doorway. It's a pretty good defensive position here, too. Lots of cover for them. Well done. Oh, nicely yeah. done. Wow, just over 19 minutes. Yeah. Impressive time. Good time. Good time. Good teamwork. Wow, look at all that skip trader time. 3.09. That's the way to play it. Yeah, really.